our friends, we're gonna be drawing a raccoon. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna draw a cartoon version. It's gonna be super cute. We hope you got a marker and some paper and you're gonna follow along with us. You ready to start? Yeah. We're gonna start by drawing a raccoon's eyes. We're gonna draw two big circles and we wanna leave some space in between them. So I'm gonna draw the first circle right here. And then I'm gonna go back around. There you go, we're practicing, right? Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna draw another circle over here next to it, but leave some space in between them. So we have room for his nose and also his mask. Good. Pattern. All right, now we can draw. We're gonna draw a smaller circle in the top right of each circle. And this is for the light reflecting in his eyes. And then inside of this, we're gonna draw his pupil. So we're gonna draw a C shape that goes around just like that. And it's behind the light catcher. There we go. And then we can do the same thing over here. All right, now inside of this circle, we're gonna draw a smaller circle down in the bottom left. Okay, now let's color in the pupil black and leave everything else white. Next, let's draw a raccoon's nose. And we're gonna draw a V right below and in between their eyes, his eyes, and then we can connect the top, and then let's color that in. Okay, now we're gonna draw the shape of our raccoon's head. We're gonna start over here, and we're gonna draw a U that comes under her nose, and then back up over here. And it's kind of a spread out U. Yeah. That way we have, we can draw the little bushy cheeks. Yeah, there we go. Now on each side, let's draw a little V, coming in. Okay, now we can draw the top of our raccoon's head going up and then back down. <laughs> now let's draw her ears. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line that comes up and then I'm gonna curve down. See how the outside is curved but the inside's straight? Yeah. And then let's repeat that same step over here. And we wanna go up to the same height and then curve down. It's already starting to look like a raccoon. Yeah. Now raccoons have masks, so we're gonna draw this U shape that goes up and around her eye and then back down to her cheek. Yeah, and then we can do the same thing on the other side. Draw a U, upside down U that goes around her eye and then back down. Perfect. Okay, now right on her forehead, let's draw a V, comes down and then back up, and I lined it up and connected it to her ears. Okay, now we're gonna draw the outside of her ear. We're gonna start up here on the point, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down just like the outside. See how it gets thicker towards the bottom? Yeah. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Start at the point and then get thick down at the bottom. Now we can draw the inside shape to her ears. So we'll start, we'll go up, a straight line, and then down with a curve just like the first shape. Yes, and then let's do the same thing on the other side. Straight up, or a straight line, and then a curve down. All right, we finished her face. Now we could add more details if we want, but let's leave her just like that. Now let's draw her chest, and we're gonna draw a zigzag line that comes down from her cheek. That, and then I'm gonna draw a curve at the very bottom. Okay, now let's draw her front leg, and we're gonna draw another zigzag. So I'm gonna draw another zigzag just like we did for her chest. And then we'll draw a line coming down that connects. And we don't wanna to go too far because we're drawing short little legs so she looks like a cartoon. And then right here, we're gonna curve back up for the back of her leg. Good, and I came up higher than her chest. Yeah, there you go. Now let's draw her second front leg. So she looks 3D, we're gonna draw another line that comes down and then curves back up. Next, we're gonna draw her belly. We're gonna imagine her chest coming behind her front leg and then sticking out the back right here and it's gonna curve up. Good, now we can draw her back leg. I'm gonna draw a curve first that connects to her belly and then we'll draw a line forward that matches her front leg. Yeah, now we're gonna repeat the same step here. We're gonna draw a curve that comes around 
and creates the back of her back leg. Now let's draw the back of her leg. We're going to start up here next to her cheek and we're going to draw a curve that comes around and connects. Yeah, you did it. All right, now let's draw the little zigzag right here on her belly. Okay, what's our raccoon missing? Her tail. Yeah, she's missing a big tail. Big, huge tail. A big, huge tail. <laughs> we're going to draw another zigzag that comes out for her fur. Then we're going to draw a big curve that comes up for her tail. And then we're going to draw a big curve coming back. And before we connect, we're going to stop and then we're going to draw another zigzag to match the front of her tail over here. Good. Now the very last thing we need to do to add to our raccoon is the stripes on her tail and also on her legs. So we're going to add, let's add a curve. We don't want to draw a straight line. We want to draw it curved so that her tail looks 3D. It looks round. So there we go. Now we're going to add two more curves. We'll go down a little further and we want these to look the same. So we're going to add another one right next to it. And then right here, we're going to add two more. We're going to add another one. And another one right next to it. Good. All right, now we finished our tail. Now let's add the stripes on her legs. So we're going to add another curve right here on her back leg and also on her front leg. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to draw her paws black. So we're going to draw curves on each of her feet. And guess what? We're missing, we're missing her fourth foot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's only got three feet. So right back here, let's draw one more foot. We're going to come down and then curve back up just like we did with the other legs. Yeah. And then let's add that little curve at the bottom for her paw. All right. Now she's got four legs Yeah. <laughs> and we did it. We finished her. Now we still need to color her. She's going to look so much better once we finish coloring her. This part we're going to fast forward, but you guys can always pause the video at the end to match the same color. Okay, when we color the eyes, we're going to use a light green and also a dark green. And let me show you really quick what we're going to do. We're going to color the outside green, but at the very bottom, I'm going to leave a white. I'm going to leave a white space. So we'll color down like this, and also on the other side, but the very bottom is also going to have a light catcher on it. So we have this little space of white at the very bottom. Then we're going to switch to our dark green, and at the very top, we're going to add some shading. It starts dark at the top and then it fades out towards the bottom. Is that cool? Yeah. Then the very last thing I'm going to switch to black and I'm going to add even a darker shadow just at the very top. This is going to make her eyes look really shiny and really cool. All right, we finished coloring our raccoons. They look so much better and I love your eyes, dude. They turn out awesome. Yeah. I love especially how big you drew your eyes. The next time I draw my raccoon, I'm gonna draw them just as big as yours. Okay. Maybe even a little bigger. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your raccoons. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And if we ever went too fast, remember you can always- Pause the video. Pause the video. And it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours because the most important thing is- To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to- To practice. Practice. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.